Hey y'all, I'm Jessie Peterson and I teach art journaling here at Let's Make Art. And this month we are going to focus on being mindfully present with our art journaling. And I'm so excited because we have this whole um, subscription box that we curated in order to like achieve that. If you don't have our subscription box, it's okay because you can follow along with us and use the supplies that you already have on hand. So this month's theme comes on a little card and kind of just tells you all about <clears throat> what we're, we're doing and I'm going to just read a little bit of that to you right now. One of the benefits of art journaling is that it can enhance your capacity to calm your mind and focus. If you find yourself rushing through to-do lists or getting anxious about something or digitally distracted, this is your ticket for a much needed time out. So that's the theme about being mindfully present and this is what we're going to make. This is what I'm calling our layered writing project and it is what it sounds like. We're gonna write some thoughts and then we're gonna paint over it and we're kind of maybe reframe a little bit about um, what we're thinking. So let's go through the supplies. We are going to use this Prussian blue acrylic paint from Deco Art. And you can use whatever blue you like. I like this blue because it matches our collage paper and whatnot. We're gonna use white. This is white wash white also deco art and we're going to use lamp ebony black mm. that white is kind of hard to see but we oh, trust is it it's should okay. i put a little more <laughs> should i put a little more on there it's, just, it's all good it looks great okay so those are our colors i'll get it wet so you can kind of see there's the blue and that's such a pretty blue oh, love it that's the prussian blue yeah oh that's lovely i tried several blues and this was the ticket love it Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this is what we're gonna make. So let's get started. We'll start with our journal, blank journal here. I have this precise um, pen that I love, and I talked about this on the beginner series. So if you're thinking you wanna know more about pens, you can go check that out. All right, so we are going to use um, a, a prompt card and a technique card, and that will help us do this project. So the prompt card today we're gonna use is called Just Thoughts. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to write down our thoughts. Thoughts, they come and they go, and it's like, you know, they're going to come no matter what. So <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is try free writing in your journal. And if you haven't done that before, free writing just means write whatever comes to your mind, whatever it is. If it's nothing's coming to my mind, I don't know what Jesse's got me doing, write that. Whatever comes to mind. Whatever thoughts come up, the important thing is that you keep your hand moving <clears throat> until you fill the page. And um, that's what we're gonna do. And it doesn't have to be neat, just do it fast. It can overlap, especially if you're worried about someone reading it or like maybe you're feeling self-conscious about what you're writing, doesn't matter. So that's what we're gonna do first. And then we're going to <clears throat> cover it with paint. So don't worry about what your words say or if somebody finds your journal later that you wrote this weird thing that came to your head. We're gonna cover it up with paint and we're gonna have a good time. Maybe you could do a secret family recipe and then give it to all your grandkids. <laughs> Yeah, whatever like, comes I, to mind. I wrote this recipe That's what for we're doing. you. You'll never be able to use it. <laughs> okay, so free writing. That's what we're doing. And I just want you to have a good time just re writing it. I think it's important sometimes to just clear your mind. You know, it's kind of like meditating. You see the thoughts coming in and you acknowledge them and they move along. So that's what we're going to do in a writing sort of situation. Yeah.
get it. That was so fun. I love free writing and getting those thoughts on the paper and it's interesting how I'll start with one sort of idea and my brain will, will go to different ideas and jump around or sometimes I'll work through something that I was thinking about that um, I didn't think I knew until I started writing it. So I hope that you enjoyed doing that and um, the next step is super fun. It's covering it up. It's just doing whatever. So this pen that I'm using, I got a little blue on my brush already. So. But I want to show you like this pen that I'm using kind of um, sometimes will smear around a little bit if, if you're quick. I wasn't quick. It dried really fast, but that's okay. It's still kind of it's still kind of fun. So we're going to use this oval mop brush. Um, this is a three-quarter oval mop brush. And I like it because it has this kind of curved sort of edge here. And it gives us some nice um, some nice edges, like as far as like soft goes. Some good shapes. Mm -hmm. I got this pretty wet when I was trying to get the ink to smear, but that's all right. I'm going to use a little bit more paint, like thicker paint in some areas now. Oh yeah, see and that covers that up. You can barely read what I wrote there. That's, that's cool. just fine. Then I'm going to put it's also satisfying to listen to the pen strokes while you were writing. Yeah? Yeah, on the, on the mic. Oh, it sounds so cool. Yeah, sometimes just being aware of those little things. Like we're always in such a rush to get things done or move on to the next task that sometimes we miss out on just enjoying the moment, you know? Agreed. Enjoying like listening to your pen hit the paper. You know, just being right there in that moment. Not like, what do you have to do next? Not, what's for dinner tonight? Not, I don't know how this page is going to turn out. I'm not very good at this. None of that. None of that. None of that. Just like, this paint is touching my paper, and that's, that's kind of fun. This feels like cool. I like this sound. You know, whatever you're thinking. So now I've got some white, and I'm just going to... Put that in a couple of places. There's no rhyme or reason here. Just have a good time. I'm just thinking about distributing the colors in little pockets, and that's fun. You can do it whatever, however you want. There may be some strange noises in the background. It's still construction. Really yeah. sorry. So you can mix your um, paint if you want. You want to have a nice light blue. You can add some white to your blue like this. Can they see me paint mixing this? Or do I need to yes, they can. But if you want to make it more visible, pull it down a little farther. Okay. So there we got some light blue. Stick that in there in a couple places. It's more opaque because they use more paint. If you use more water, then it's going to be more translucent. So if you really want to cover that writing, if you're like, I don't want anybody to read that, that was crazy, whatever, that's fine. Just use more paint, like thicker amount of paint, not so much water. Now I'm going to mix the black with some blue. And get a darker sort of slate blue. I like mm. that. And I'm going to come in here in some spots. And do that. I mean, it just feels good to paint, like without an agenda. Just, just to do it. Just to paint. And if you like to paint with music. You can put a little music on when you're doing this. That's good. And you can do this with any color, any time you want. Like this is something you could do over and over in your journal and arrive at a different place, different thoughts every time. I'm going to let some of these layers dry for a second and then I might go in with a few more layers. So we'll let this dry for a second. Okay, that layer is a little bit more dry, so let's just hit it with a little bit more paint, and then we'll let that dry again, and then we'll finish up. Oh yeah, so if you let that first layer dry, and then you come back over it, then you can get some more opaque um, spots. And so I'm gonna do a little more of that. Prussian blue is just so nice. I it really is such a satisfying blue color. Love it, it's so calming. So pretty. My mom always had like blue dishes like this in her kitchen. And I don't know, I just like it. My mom had white dishes with blue 
flowers. Oh, the corningware ones. I don't know. What we had those. Are. I know I just know. what you're talking about. We had some of those too. I just, I just know that she moved out of her house and left most of her things there, and so I took her dishes. Oh, did you? Yes. You have to show me what they look like. Well, I might have one left. They're broken. I remember when ours broke, they really broke, like they shattered into a million pieces. But yeah. it, they had, they were dropped a few times before that happened. Oh yeah, these last, these these can be dropped pretty easily. It's nice. Well, we should save our conversation about broken dishes. That's what I'm saying. We're talking about dish, dishes right now. The broken dish one that we're gonna do next time. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Do, you can you can like mix color before or you can mix color on your paper and do a little blending if you want. Just have fun. Just have fun with the paint, seeing what you can do with it. We're not trying to make it look like anything. We're just, we're just having fun with that paint, moving it around. I like the idea of the edges not being like perfectly straight, but if you want like a line, you could do that. I like some of the writing kind of showing in spots and not showing in other spots. I do too. Oh yeah. There's a little bit of a glare because of the paint being wet for me, so I just need to tip it so I can see where we're going here. And so I go back over that black part with the blue, then it's totally opaque, which is kind of fun. So you can use the black first and then put blue on top of it if you don't want a lot of black, but you want more opaque versus translucent, meaning like you can see through it when it's translucent and not so much when it's opaque, you know? Hmm. Watch your head. Oh, yeah. I had a little white on my brush, so it kind of did that little thing, but I'm, I'm, I'm into that. Oh, that's like cool. That. We'll do it right there. Yeah, I'm gonna play around with texture, you can do that. Okay, that's looking good. I'll let that dry for a minute and then we'll move on to our next step. And we're back. This is looking warm. I mean, it's looking dry. <laughs> I was saying warm because it feels warm because it's like 48 degrees in this room that we're filming in. Even though it's getting warmer outside here in Missouri, it's still a little chilly. So chilly in fact that I'm warming my hands on this. <laughs> um, Keenan just uh, took a heat gun and dried this really quickly so um, we could get to the next step. But he also <laughs> took the heat gun to his metal chair so that he would have a warm chair to sit in. I think that's really funny. It's cold back here. One thing to think of if you are using a blow dryer or a heat gun is, do you see these clips right here? They warm up, they get hot. And if you get them really hot and then you touch them, you might burn yourself. They are not that warm right now. So I'm Good. Okay, so this is looking dry and it feels warm. <laughs> Good. Well, my chair's warm too, so that's nice. <laughs> and we're going to do the next step. Now, I know this seems like a simple project, but I'm really hoping that you'll um, enjoy doing it and apply it to different pages in your journal more than once. Okay, so what I did here was I added a little phrase for myself to kind of reframe what I was thinking at this time. And I like this, and I think it's also applicable to the layout that I did here. So I have just some... Uh, extra paper, cardstock, white cardstock. If you have that, you can use that. You can use typing paper, whatever you got on hand. I'm just going to cut a little strip off of here. About, oh, I think that I want that to be a little shorter, so I'll just cut it off. That looks good. I like that. That feels right. Mm. And we got gold washi in our subscription kit, so you can use that. You could also glue it, like whatever you want to do. And you could also use collage paper. I think I put that in the ingredients that you could use for this if you wanted to do that. It's up to you, but I just thought, I like this without the collage paper. It's kind of nice. Okay, so, well, I'm gonna put that tape there for a second. I'm gonna move this where you can see it. Can you see that, Keenan? Yes. All right, if Keenan can see it, then you can see it. That's, that's right. What I'm, I'm just going to write, I, Will no, I can't see it. Watch your head. Be kind to myself. I'm writing that because sometimes when I get in my head and I think, man, I didn't do a good job with that, or I should have said that kinder, or you know, a billion other things that we get in our head about, 
um, when I'm kind to myself, then I come, I, I just arrive at a place of ease where everything is easier. So sometimes you just got to start with yourself and your thoughts. And that is a good spot for that. And we did it. Simple layered writing layout. Um, Lovely. Thanks. Um, I hope that you find that um, fun to do, and I hope that you'll try it out. And if you're feeling like you want to share it, you can share it on our Facebook group, which is Let's Make Art Journals, or you can share it with a hashtag um, Let's Make Art Journals on Instagram, uh, whatever, all good places to share and see how you do this differently, or maybe how you rephrase your thought. That might, you might have another positive thought that you want to share that um, can inspire someone. Um, yeah, this whole month, I hope we're just doing things to cultivate sort of a mindful mindset and using our art journaling as a way to just chill and be in the moment. I'm so glad that you um, made this with us. Thank you so much. And we will see you next time.